So this is going to be how to do a correlation in Jamovi. So I just made up a sample data set here where I have my student number and I asked them what their final grade was in chemistry, what their final grade was in trigonometry, what their overall college GPA was, what year they were in school, and that number of hours they worked. And the reason I got, the way I got this to show up, it was words instead of numbers. I will cover more in detail in the data setup video, but basically over here on this variables tab, you can write labels for your actual numbers. And I'll do more where you set up your data and I'll make sure that I've linked that video in the comments. But let's get to how to actually run this as a correlation. So let's say, first of all, let's say I want to see, is there a relationship between the amount of hours that a student works and their overall GPA? Because that would make sense, right? Maybe if you're working more, you don't get to study as much. So maybe more hours worked could hurt your GPA. So we're going to come over here to analyses. All of your data analyses options are under this tab. This is kind of a data management tab. This is a variable management tab. And all of your analyses are over here. So I like to come back over here to data view to start from. It doesn't matter. It'll still run it, but I like it to look like this. So analyses, where you're going to find correlation is you're going to find it over here under regression. So I'm going to come over here to regression. And I'm going to tell it that I want to want to get a correlation matrix. So now this window is me telling it which things do I want to test to see if it's correlated. So first of all, I just want to see would the hours that a student worked be correlated with their overall GPA. So I'm going to plot both these in the box. And just to make things easier for myself, I might tell it, I want it to flag the significant correlations. Now you can kind of drag all this over to make it easier to be able to see everything at once on the screen. But so what this is telling me is that none of these were statistically significant correlations, right? So here's my overall GPA correlated to my hours worked. The Pearson's correlation is negative 0.26. And that's a p-value of 0.26. So that's not even close. So that's not significant. Now, the great thing about how this software does it is you can just switch stuff out without having to go through and start over. So maybe now I don't want to look at hours worked correlated with GPA. Maybe I want to see if their trigonometry final or their chemistry final was correlated with their overall GPA, right? Because maybe the idea is if you can do really well in these hard classes, you can probably do well in some of your easier classes as well. And so if I pull this up, what I can see now is that I'm have a, a, I have a three-part correlation, correlation matrix to work with. And so the way I read these is to match up my row and my column. So right here, what I'm looking at is the trigonometry final exam score with the overall GPA score. And I have my little flag on this, my little asterisk, my little star. And so I see that this is a significant correlation. The p-value is 0 0.048. So my trigonometry final exam score was significantly correlated with my overall G GPA. I can come down here and look at my chemistry final exam score correlated with my overall GPA. And that one is not statistically significant. But then I can come over here and look at my chemistry final exam score correlated with my trigonometry final exam score. And again, I have a statistically significant correlation. This correlation strength is 0.665, and the statistical significance of that is 0.001. So I have a statistically significant correlation. Now I can also add a, um, a plot on here. And I can click the options that I want. But if I want a visual, I can get a plot for that. I think that the other tool that I'm going to show you makes nicer looking plots that are kind of easier to disentangle. But you can get a correlation matrix plot right from your Jamovi settings. So that's how to run a basic correlation matrix in Jamovi. Now, if you wanted to also be able to report what was the average trigonometry final exam score, what was the average chemistry final exam score, this does not give you the option of doing this right in this dialog box. You actually will need to go back out and, re and do, a different, um, do a different analysis for that. So if you want to just get some basic descriptives of these, where you're going to go, you're going to come over here 
and you're going to click frequencies. And your frequencies, no, you're not. That's not the correct thing. You're going to click exploration. Sorry about that. You're going to click on exploration. And once you come over here to exploration, you're going to get your option for descriptives. And this is where you're going to have the option. Now, it's going to keep your correlation matrix here for you, which is handy because you'll be able to just pop right back up and reference this. But so if I'm looking at this and I'm saying, OK, I want my my descriptives for my trigonometry final score and my chemistry final score. I can come over here. I can tell it I want it to look at trigonometry. I want it to look at chemistry. And it's going to give me the number of variables that I had entered for that. And it's going to give me the mean, median, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, all of those things that I would typically like to see. I can have it do a table. And I can come down here and I can select more details about what I'm looking for. So I can ask for a variance. I can ask for a range. Um, I can ask for if there's skewness or kurtosis, which we're not getting at anything in that much detail for this project. But this is where you would find all the options to mess with those. Um, again, you can also do some different plots and histograms and things like that from this window. But the other tool that I'm going to show you um, does make it much more visually appealing. But that is just a general overview for how you do your correlation and how you would also get some of those follow up descriptives that you might want to want to report as part of your data sharing for this project.